What's going on guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the ice cards because I was thinking about them and I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, they're great for the game right now. They really are. This is really helping up the hut market sometimes. You see that 93 Johnny Hockey is going for 30k right now though. So I don't know. It's definitely helping out the hut market. I don't think that was the intention. Now before we get into this, yes, I'm going to open up some packs. I'm going to do a bit of a team update and I'm going to talk about these ice cards. First off, I want to show you my pre-order pack from this morning. Pretty solid, right? Not too bad, not too bad. So I do have some coin here. We'll open up a couple packs, try and pull some of these ice cards. We're gonna talk about them. Now EA obviously knows how bad the market's been this year. They release these new ice cards to try and help out. I don't, however, think. There we go, gold collectible. I made money on this pack. That's amazing. And Tyson Berry has an ice card. Maddie D I'll hang on to as well. It's a solid pack to start it off. Anyways, I don't think, I do not think that EA made these cards to help out the market here in NHL 18. Now hear me out. Next year, NHL 19, they don't want the same thing to happen. So now, what are we going to do with all of our gold cards? Well, we're gonna hang on to them, right? I mean, why would we not hang on to them now that we know what's gonna happen or could potentially happen? The market's already dead this year. The game's done. It seems like it anyways. A lot of people have already quit. So they threw this in here and now, now suddenly, People are interested. I got a Steven Stamkos. I got that gold collectible as well. Boom, I'm gonna do the Stamkos set. <laughs> Why not, guys? Why not? We'll do that together here. But but I totally see this as a way that EA has helped themselves out for next year. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So EA has gone and made a set available this year. That's gonna be in the back of our mind next year saying, hey, yeah, I could sell this card right now, but if they end up having a good year, I could really upgrade them later. That's gonna help keep cards off the market. That's gonna make cards much more expensive next year. It makes the market more realistic. The more way it, the way it was before, the way it used to be. This year's market is god awful. Now it's not anyone's fault. It's just more packs being opened. Me and Legacy went right through this. We had tons of talk about it. Here's the thing. I don't like the market this year. I don't exactly like everything that EA's done. But this was genius if this is what they're thinking. Now I'm gonna get my 94 Stammer beautiful it's awesome there he is i'm probably just gonna sell him because i don't like his synergy in fact if you guys want to see a trade day let me know i could totally do a trade day but let me know down below what you think about these new cards am i making sense here do you think that this is ea's way of saying hey the market's bad this year here's some new cards have some fun with them stack your team everyone have a super stacked squad it's gonna be awesome and then next year hang on to your cards i think that's what they're trying to do here this is my, this is what I have right now. I'll go ahead and show you a team update. Anyways, guys, here's the team. Now, if you want me to do a trade day, I totally can. I'll throw the Crosby, the McDavid, the Stamkos. I'll do the Gabber. I'll throw the entire team in there. I don't really care. This is my squad. This is what I'm running with. I'm having a great time in Hut right now. I am having a great time playing with these cards. Everything feels smooth. Everything feels quick. I'm using carry price space. I got Justin Blanchett to help me out with synergies. If I take out any of these cards, or I lose a synergy, I don't want to do that. So Steven Stamkos, you're, you're just not joining the squad. We got Rocket Skates, Ding Zone, Fine Shot, and Breakout Master, Silky Smooth, and Thread the Needle on. That's my team. Those are my thoughts on the uh, the ice cards. Now, this is a quick video. Here's the thing. I started recording this other video. It was awesome. It was going to be, what do I think about Eric Carlson? Like, what's going to happen with Eric Carlson? And can we make a trade with every team in the NHL to see what we can get for him? And all that great stuff. And guys, it was god awful. I couldn't make it work. But honestly, I just don't see it happening. Let's try one more. Try one more. Yeah. Like, come on. Two firsts, Nylander and Marner for Eric Carlson. We'll take out a first. We'll take out a first and throw in Morgan Riley. All right? All right? There it is. Do you see how difficult this is? Would Toronto take this deal? I don't think so. Not, not a chance in hell. It's not happening. I posted this on Twitter. Yeah, guys, it's just, it, it didn't work. It did not work. I tried trading from Arizona, OEL, Clayton Keller, Dylan Strom, and a first draft pick, round draft pick. And it still wasn't enough for Eric Carlson. I tried it with almost every team. I just couldn't make it work without extremely overpaying. Like I would have to give Crosby, Latang, and a first, and then I could get Eric Carlson. 
It's not realistic. It's not gonna happen. I tried to make that video and I apologize to the people who were looking forward to it. I just, I couldn't make it happen. It was not happening for me. Anyways, guys, just gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I know it's a uh, very quick video and I apologize, but I think I got my point across. EA did not release these cards for NHL 18. Now this may have been in the stars. They may have already been thinking, yeah, let's do this. Everyone can stack their squad. It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna have awesome cards. And then they seen how the market was going. They still did it. But now everyone here, everyone here playing NHL 18 who gets NHL 19 is gonna wanna hang on to these gold cards it's gonna break it's really gonna raise their price next year let's be realistic if you pull a crosby at the beginning of the year you're not gonna want to sell it because you know he's gonna get that upgrade all you need they keep it the same way you'll only need a gold collectible to upgrade that crosby from say he's a 90 to a 94 you're absolutely gonna want to hang on to that crosby it's gonna bring that price up gonna keep the market the way it was i kind of like it thanks for watching guys i'll see you later